Hey, hey, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. Today is RBSG Season 2, Episode 9. I did miss Episode 8, and I apologize for that. I had a lot going on, life, you know, surgery, stuff going on, so it just kind of, you know, life just happened so I didn't get a chance to film usually I I film in the morning while I'm getting ready for work like today and that kind of there was a time restraint and so you know the collab last month was um blind and there's just no way I could have done it getting ready for work in the morning it just wouldn't work but this one I can and it's Sandra's month so if you want to hear her word and what we're challenged with then stick around because I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you wanting to hang out with me for a little bit. So Sandra sent us this. All right, so the word this month is valley. So the word is valley. I would like everyone to do a neutral glam look using earth tones you would normally see in a valley like browns, greens, and blues and apply your favorite lashes. I'm not gonna do lashes, I wear glasses and I have to work today so it's really difficult for me to put lashes on and I'm not really that great at applying them so you know, I don't have a lot of time to play around with it this morning. The lips are your choice. Maybe you have a fun blue, green, or brown lip color that can bring it all together. Earth tones, so gorgeous on anyone. Have fun with this, can't wait to see what you ladies create. So that's what we got going on. And I pulled out two palettes for this. We've got the Star Ranch, Jeffree Star, and the Mini Controversy because the Star Ranch has some really nice browns and it's got blues in it as well. And then the Mini Controversy has a couple blues and this green right here. So I was thinking maybe I can do a brown transition shade and then maybe a darker brown on the outer V and then on the lid I could do either a blue or a green shimmer and then underneath do the other you know what I'm saying and switch it up a little bit so we'll see how this turns out alrighty I think I'm gonna dive into the Star Ranch palette and I'm gonna go into Yak Farm which is this one right here and we're gonna put that in my transition area. Just gonna tap it and kind of blend it out a little bit. My eye seems to have this down and I don't know how to play with it to get it, you know what I mean? Like I try with the outer V to like bring it up but I'm just I'm still I'm a work in progress you guys I'm still working on it to try and I don't know if maybe I need to change the shape of my eyebrow so that it doesn't come down and goes more I don't know I don't know but then I'm afraid that's gonna look like super weird you know what I mean like if I kind of cut the end of my brow you know like shave the end of my brow and kind of that way I can kind of play around with it going down or you know what I mean like I don't know if that makes any sense but I do know of a couple people that shave the end of their brows and then they can kind of like play with the shape of them a little more you know what I mean and I think that's what I need to do it doesn't help that I'm you know 50 and now my you know, my eyes are starting to droop a lot more. I don't know if like maybe a little bit of Botox would help like, you know, lift it up a little bit so they're not like, you know, but I've heard that some Botox, I was watching, I was watching a video one time about a girl that was talking about how she got Botox and while it got rid of the, you know, wrinkles in her forehead, her, her lid drooped more. And I don't want that to happen to me <laughs> if I'm going to get Botox. I want it to, you know, fill everything in and kind of like, you know, lift, lift it up, not make it worse. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But, you know, that's just what I heard. 
And that could be just her experience. You know, everybody's different. So, but I'm also afraid of side effects because I know that you can have side effects from it. And so, like, I don't know if one of, if that's one of those things that I could like have a really bad allergic reaction to or whatever. And I just don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to have to go into work looking like a freak because something got messed up. I remember, I don't know why I was watching it, but there was an episode of like the Kardashians or something like that. And Kim was having a allergic reaction to the Botox or whatever. And so that kind of like freaked me out a little bit about doing it. <laughs> I'm like, she's rich. And if she goes in and has probably the best people doing her Botox and she has an allergic reaction, who's to say that I won't have an allergic reaction? You know what I mean? I'm trying to find a blendy brush. Here, I'll use this one right here. And I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit. I'm trying to embrace my age. I really am. But that doesn't mean that I can't do like subtle things to kind of, you know, make me feel a little bit better about myself and kind of keep a little bit of a youthful look. You know, I'm not trying to look like I'm 19. I just, you know, I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm not doing too terribly bad. All right, I'm going to use this eye blender from Huda Beauty. I got this in Busy Beauty Customs. So I'm going to use root beer, diet root beer, or Wyoming. I have this shade right here, which is Wyoming, or this shade, this shade right here, which is diet root beer. It looks a lot lighter up there than it is here. Um... I think I'm going to go in with Wyoming and then maybe I could use diet root beer to kind of blend it out. I just tapped my brush in a little bit and then I'm just going to kind of just do a little tap, tap, tappy on the outer corner here, outer V, whatever you want to call it, outer part of my lid. I almost want to put a little bit out here, but I need to save, I want to save the lower lash line for either the blue or the green. And I think I'm going to use this lipstick right here. This is Dominique Cosmetics. I'm not sure what. Mo nude, nude Coco. Nude Coco. I don't have my glasses on, so words are hard sometimes to read. That's really pretty. I just used this Star Ranch palette yesterday when I got ready for work. I really enjoy the formula. I really do. I know that he's not everybody's favorite person and, well, to be honest, he's not really my favorite person anymore either. I don't know, I guess I was just hyped up about his makeup when I first, you know, started my channel and everything and he was a big deal, you know, his makeup was a big deal anyway. I'm not so sure, you know, about him necessarily, but a lot of people seem to like his makeup with good reason. I'm just... You know, I think that he's kind of, he's not, he, I don't think he's as passionate about it as he once was, I guess. And I know a lot of people say it's because the people don't watch YouTube anymore because of TikTok and Instagram shorts and or reels and YouTube shorts, which, you know, I, I, I fall down the rabbit hole of TikTok too, you know, because it's fun to watch some of the videos and they're shorter form content. I think it's more good for like the quick transitions are fun to watch and some comedy videos, you know, and the dance videos. It can be very entertaining. But when it comes down to it, if I want to learn how to do some makeup, I don't want to watch a 60 second video. I want to be on YouTube watching like a 20, 30, 40 minute get ready with me where somebody's really going into details with what they're doing because that helps me more than a little video that says, okay, we're going to do this. And they like, they fit like the whole get ready with me in 60 seconds. That just to me is not a good way to learn how to do makeup. So I, I feel like there's, there's perks to TikTok and there's perks to YouTube, you know, it just got to find what 
works for you. You know, I, I tend to get on TikTok and watch it a little bit and then I'll go on YouTube and watch some YouTube videos. I kind of split my time. All right, so now I think I'm gonna go in with, what brush do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm gonna go into Diet Root Beer, tap it off a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of blend this Wyoming shade out a little bit. Alrighty, so now, I think I might want to use this Star Creek right here. I think that's a really pretty color. That's what it looks like. I think it's like a, I don't know, is it like a teal color, blue? Wow, that's really pretty. I think it looks more green. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments, but I think it's more of a kind of a greeny blue, right? So I'm just going to put that on my lid and see how it turned. Wow, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. Alrighty, guys, I got that color laid down. That's super pretty. I'm going to go off. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and everything. Probably, I'm probably just going to finish up because I'm running out of time and I got to get finished getting ready. And I will come back with a final look and kind of let you know exactly what I did. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back and the look is done and I'm running so late. I literally have to be out the door right now. So anyways, before I go, RBSG, Random Beauty Support Group, we get together every month and we do a look based on a word that's generated to the person who's assigned that month. So Ariel and Trish are, well, Ariel created it and Trish is like her co-partner and they both put this together. They generate the word and then they send it to the person whose month it is and then they come up with the challenge. I didn't explain this in the beginning and I apologize for that. Um, but uh, there will be a playlist link down below in the description box so you can check out the other ladies and see what they did with their look this month for the word valley. Um, this is what I came up with. I did take, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna be late for work, I just know I am. I used this canceled color right here on the lower lash line and then I went into Grand grand prismatic right here and kind of blended it out and then I used this flat earth color and kind of put it a little bit on the inner corner and then I used the Casper mountain right here and kind of tapped it over it just to give it a little extra something I did use my little mini KVD cake pencil for tight line and I used this raw beauty Christy x color pop Spare Time Green for the waterline. I really think it's so pretty. What else did I do? Uh, Laura Geller Fortifying Lash Primer for my lashes because I love this stuff so much. I used my ColourPop Act Natural in black for the lower lashes. Um, I also have been playing with this Trey Stique uh, bronzer stick. I've been playing with this a lot lately. It has a brush, but I don't use the brush. I just tend to use a sponge, um, but I really like it. I also went over it with this Viseart bronzer. For my blush, I used this Romantic Beauty blush powder right here. It smells good. I think I got this from Karen in the box I bought from her. Uh, for my lips, I use this Jeffree Star. What color is this? I can't read the shade, you guys. But this is the lip liner that I used. And then I used this Dominique Cosmetics lipstick. Super pretty, you guys. Super pretty. For my foundation, I used my Avon Longwear Foundation Cashmere Complex. I'm not sure what shade this is in because I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on and that's just how it goes around here. Um, what else? I used my Hard Candy uh, Translucent Setting Powder. For my brows, I used my Revolution Brow Palette. Still going strong, still going strong. There's still some left. Uh, I did use a little bit of this Poreless Putty Primer. I also used this Avon Magic Face Perfector. And let's
let's use the item beauty. This is almost out to set the face. And then I have got to go. Was that everything? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but I think the look came out really pretty. I hope you guys will go down below, check out the playlist, go show the other ladies some love. Thank you all so much. Uh, again, I apologize for missing last month. I really wanted to do it. I just couldn't make it happen. But I love you guys all so very much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Take care. Stay safe. If you're new, I hope you'll join Nene's Glam Squad. It's totally free, guys. Doesn't cost a thing to support my channel. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell, make sure you turn it up to all. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. If you wouldn't mind, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know you, that you stopped by. Thank Thank you, Ari, and thank you, Trish, for uh, giving me a pass last month and for inviting me to be a part of this. I really have enjoyed it a lot. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and I hope I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Check out the playlist.